1961, the United States President John F. Kennedy committed the USA to landing a man on the moon and returning him safely back to Earth before the end of the decade. Just four years earlier on, October the 4th, 1957, a 60-centimetre polished metal sphere called Sputnik 1 made the Russians the first to launch a human-made satellite. Two months later, Sputnik 2 carried a dog into orbit that unfortunately died to high temperatures. On 12th of April 1961, Yuri Gagarin became the first man in orbit and returned safely. Less than a month later, the American launched their first manned sub-orbit mission. Alan B. Shepard returned to Earth a hero. Just three weeks later, Kennedy made his announcement. The race for the moon was on. The Americans designed the Apollo spacecraft launch with the Saturn rocket launcher but all did not go well in testing. Apollo 1 burst into flames on the test pad killing all three astronauts. Features were redesigned and a launch escape system was added. The Apollo spacecraft comprised of three parts. The command module contained the main pressurized crew cabin for the three astronauts. It was conical in shape, just four meters wide at the base and three meters in height. That made a very cramped space to live for the trip. The service module was the power store of the setup. It contained all backup systems for the mission and a large main engine nozzle dominated the lower end. The lunar module was a bug-like module that descended down to the lunar surface. The lower section carried the lunar rover, a moon car used on the moon. The lower section that acted as a launch pad for the upper section that returned the astronauts to the command module. Apollo 11 launched on the 16th July 1969 on board were Commander Neil Armstrong, Lunar Module Pilot Edwin Buzz Aldrin and the Commander Module Pilot Michael Collins. Eagle, the name of Lunar Module, landed on the moon on the 20th July and after safety checks, Neil Armstrong made his way out through the small hatch and down the ladder. Buzz Aldrin joined him on the surface of the moon minutes later. And the rest, as they say, is history. The three returned to Earth heroes, but were immediately put into a month's quarantine in case they had brought back any alien disease. By the end of the Apollo diagram in December 1972, 12 astronauts had walked on the moon. Back to the studio.